Hello, this is John N5ID. I'm sorry about the noise that you might hear in the shack. I have a small box fan running because it's a little bit warm in the sunroom today. I want to review two microphones that I've found work very, very well with the Yaesu FT710. One is this Shure PGA58 and the other one is this Audio Technica Pro 41. Before I go any further, I know people will make comments and say he's not an audio engineer and that's correct. And I know people will say, well, he doesn't know really what he's talking about. And that's true in a lot of instances. But what I have found in my own personal experience is these two microphones work very well with the Yaesu FT710. You don't have to break the bank to get into ham radio. You can buy a Yaesu FT710 uh, in the $900 range and the Shure PGA58, I believe is under $60 and the Audio-Technica Pro 41 may be under $50. You don't have to put a $400 mic on the radio to make it sound good. I'm going to quickly go over my settings with regards to the microphone. Now, both of these mics, I leave the AMC on 100, the processor on 40, of course, the mic EQ's on. The only difference is I turn the mic gain up to 65 for the Audio Technica and I turn it down to six, uh, 60 for the Sure. Now I'm going to go into radio settings. You'll notice my transmit bandwidth is opened up at 50 to 3050 Hertz. Quickly I'm going to go into operation settings and you will notice with regards to the parametric equalizer and by the way when you see P in front of the parametric equalizer the P denotes the settings for when you have your processor turned on and you'll notice here that I have P parametric equalizer 1 frequency at 300 I have the EQ level at minus 3 and the bandwidth at 0 and on P parametric equalizer 2 the frequency is 1500 Hertz the level is 10 and the bandwidth is 1 and on P parametric equalizer 3 the frequency is 2300 Hertz the level is 10 and the bandwidth is 0 yes I like to emphasize the highs I believe in communications audio, it's not about making it sound as good as an FM broadcast station. If you get a lot of bass in there and your signal's weak, people will not be able to understand you. So what I want to do now, uh, earlier I recorded on a web SDR uh, receiver in Utah. I recorded these two microphones, so it's a live over the air test and what we're going to do is just listen to the sound coming out of the speakers on the computer I know it's not the best scientific test but this will give you an idea of how good uh, this sounds over the air and I'm just going to go over here to the speaker where I've got the files and I'm going to hit play and let you listen to it November 5, India Delta is audio testing on the ASU FT710 with the Sure PGA 58A audio test. November 5, India Delta is audio testing on the ASU FT710 with the Audio Technica. Pro 41 microphone, audio test one, two, three. And as you can hear, it sounds pretty good. I realize I'm hearing impaired, I wear hearing aids, and so my hearing's not the best. 
Normally I put headphones on when I get on the air and I certainly wear headphones. I take the hearing aids out and put the headphones on when I'm adjusting my audio. When I consistently get good audio reports with both of these microphones, I am going to do a comparison later. I have a Yaesu MD100 desk mic, which sounds very good on this radio, and I'm going to compare it to a couple of studio dynamic microphones that I have ordered, and I'll put that video up later when I get the microphones in. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you, and God bless.